Now, before we're going to open up the brackets text error, let's create a folder somewhere on our desktop because that's going to probably going to be easiest. I'm going to name one HTML. You can name yours however you want. However, it would be important that it would be on a desktop and you actually would remember what is the name that you gave to your folder. Let's go ahead and open up brackets text editor. And unless you're doing some type of black magic, this is what you should be seeing. So this is going to be basically the opening file for the uh, brackets. Now, what we need to do right away is actually grab this folder that we created, this empty folder, and just drag it over here. And now you can see how it's showing up over here within the brackets, right? So we can maximize the screen. And over here, if we go to the left-hand side, we just right-click it, and you see these options over here that you have. So we will just gonna click a new file, and I'm gonna call it index.html. And it is important that you both call it in index, H index, and also it is important that you call it HTML. And the reason why you're actually saying that it's index because that's usually a main uh, page for our website. And the reason why it has HTML extension is that the browser would know that you're actually talking about a HTML file. So if we go back over here to our uh, folder, and you can see over here that it says index HTML. However, here on the left-hand side, you can right away see that it recognizes that it is a web HTML file because you can see this little icon that says Chrome. So it knows that it needs to use the Chrome to actually open it up. Now we're gonna be actually during this course, we're gonna be exploring the brackets. So I'm not gonna do it too much in this first video because I wanna get right to the HTML. So like I said, the HTML is basically consists of tags and all you're basically doing is just stacking bunch of elements in, in your web page. So let's say you would want a some kind of title for your web page, right? You would create an element. Let's say after that you would decide that you want a image on your web page. Again, you would create an element. Then you would decide that you want some type of form. Let's say some kind of survey or something. You would create an element. So you can get an idea. All, you, all you're doing is basically stacking up a bunch of elements in your web page and the browser is showing them. Now, as you can see, some of elements have a two tags, the opening uh, tag and a closing tag, and some elements have the only one tag. However, you can see that those names are preset. They're not just, you cannot just come up with your own name and then expect that the browser is gonna show it. You need to use the names that are actually preset. Now there's not that many elements, so you don't need to worry about the fact that uh, you, you could forget and never find out what is the name of the element, but there, it's quite a few, but it's, it's not that many. So here's the deal. Now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you what is a typical a layout for the website, right? So the first thing that we always would need to do in a HTML document, we would write to, need to write something like this, and we would need to put explanation sign over here in the front, and over here, we would need to write HTML like this. Now, this is not really an HTML tag, so don't expect some kind of element popping up. It's pretty much you're just telling the browser what basically what version of HTML you're using. And in this case, we're using HTML5. Now, another two tags that we're gonna be creating are gonna be the actual HTML tags that are actually gonna signalize that everything that's gonna be within you, these two tags actually gonna be displayed on the website. Now, another two tags that always consist in any website are actually head and a body. And we always need to start with the head tags over here and underneath the head tags actually are gonna come the body tags. Now, the head tags are basically a information about the web page, meaning let's say the some kind of crawlers or some kind of let's say search engines or whatever they all going to be looking for whatever is in a head element to actually find out about the page. However, everything that's going to be displayed on actual screen is going to be within this body tags over here. And the first thing that we're going to do in this lesson, we're actually going to create a title for our web page. And title is another thing that actually goes within the head element, but not, not in the body element. And the way we actually create a title for a web page, what we would need to do over here, we would need to write a title over here like this. 
and you can see the nice thing about brackets is as you're starting the type it actually gives you a code hints like this so only thing you need to do is actually just press it over here close the tag and you can see it right away that it creates a closing tag if the element has one and let's say uh, I'm gonna write a title name here and I'm just gonna say the first website well very bo boring but nevertheless it gets the job done right first website over here now there's a couple of options how we can actually look at that website now the regular way would be we could minimize this but first we would need to save it so we would need to go to the file in brackets and we go over here and we have a save option so we would have to first to save the file over here and then the next thing we, what we would need to do is open up the folder and we can actually double click it over here and you can see that I have this old thing coming up from the from the brackets IO I'm just going to rid of it but you can see that first website over here right so that would be a pretty traditional way but I can close this over here and I can just show you what is the nice things about brackets let's say that we actually maximize this and I'm just going to open this and I'll show you what it is so we're just going to change the screen and again we're just going to minimize this but this has nothing to do with brackets this is pretty much how we're working on a Mac so what, what you're seeing over here is this little icon that I open that is actually a live preview and what I mean my live preview that in the brackets we can actually work and it's right away showing everything that we're doing so let's say that over here I would change my let's say change my mind and I would say that I don't know this is a website about apples right so you can see as I'm typing it's actually doing the same over here website about apples and it's also going to work the same way in the next lessons when we are actually going to start uh, working within our body and actually displaying elements in a page and just don't worry about this element but let's say right now if I would want to create uh, some type of title and I would say this is the title you can see the nice things about brackets um, is that the fact that it is actually showing uh, right away what we're doing so sometimes especially in the beginning when you are making mistakes you don't want to save the file then jump back and then realize that you did something wrong in here in brackets what's happening the live preview is actually going to be correcting right away your mistakes so you can feel comfortable even if you make a mistake you it's going to be much more easier for you to find uh, this is going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next video